Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a reverse shell using a file upload. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one install of VirtualBox, one virtual install of Kali Linux, and one virtual install of Metasploitable 2. So the first things you're going to want to do is ensure that your devices are all on the same network type. And in this case, I've got both my network adapters for Kali and for Metasploitable 2 configured to use NAT network. Make sure that's the case. Once your Metasploitable 2 has booted to its prompt, go ahead and log on and then run an ifconfig command to check to see what IP address has been assigned to your Ethernet Zero adapter. Take note of that IP address because we will need it for the lab. From your Kali machine, you're going to want to open up a terminal and do an ifconfig and you're going to want to find the IP address for that Ethernet Zero adapter. Now these are my IP addresses. Your IP addresses will differ. Now another thing you can do once you have your terminal up is just go ahead and do a ping over to your Metasportable 2 using an IP address that we discovered. This will ensure that you do have network connectivity. If you're not getting a positive ping response, that's because your networking is not configured correctly. It's just a connectivity issue. The next thing we want to do is just open up a browser inside of Kali. To do this, I'm going to go over to the application launcher, expand that, and then from the context menu, select web browser. In the address bar for your browser, type in that IP address for Metasportable 2, hit enter, and that'll take you over to the main page for Metasportable 2. Here we're going to click on the link for DVWA. Go ahead and click that. Here you're going to log in and the username is admin and the password is password, all lowercase. Go ahead and log in. Now from here you want to click on where it says DVW security. Now for this lab we're going to be using low security. But as you run through this lab you can come back and you can reset the security to medium and then to high and then see what results you get when trying to establish a reverse shell using this file upload vulnerability. So let's go ahead and set this to low to begin with. Hit the submit button and then we're going to go over here and we're going to click on where it says upload. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser and we're going to go back over here to our Kali desktop. From here we're going to click on file system and then we're going to scroll on down till we come to the USR folder. From there we're going to click on the share folder and from here we're going to scroll on down until we come to web shells. Go ahead and double click that. And then from here we're going to click on the folder entitled PHP. Now the reverse shell that we are interested in is the php-reverse-shell.php. Go ahead, right click on it, and we're going to open it with mouse pad. Over here in the text editor, just scroll down until you come past the comments and the code begins. Here we have to make a couple of changes to the contents of this text file. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to change this IP address. This IP address has to point back to your Kali. Then I'm going to change the port. I like using port 4444 but you are free to use any port that is currently not in use on your Kali installation. Another good port number is 5555. Now once you have that information typed in, confirm that it is correct, and then you're going to go up to File. You're going to do a Save As. From here you're going to click on Desktop. And up there where it says Name, you're just going to go ahead and remove everything except for the shell.php. Scroll on down over here to the lower right and click on the Save button. You can close out the text editor for this script and you can close out your file system and back on your desktop you will see that you have the shell.php script waiting for you. Now one trick that you can do to ensure that your script will get past the security is to just rename the extension to something other than just PHP lowercase. For instance if I right click on this and I go to rename I can rename the script to 
lowercase p, uppercase hp. I'll go ahead and rename. We can now return over to our upload page. Back over on to our upload. Let's click on Browse. Select the shell.php file. And we're going to click on the Upload button. And now it tells us that it was successfully uploaded. Now the path to this file that we just uploaded is hackable, the Uploads folder, and then there's the name of our file. So the path we need to be using to get to this script so that we can launch it is the IP address of the Metasploitable 2 forward slash DVWA forward slash hackable and then forward slash uploads. And if we hit enter, you'll see that's where we're at. Now to establish this reverse shell, we're also going to have to have a listener up inside of our Kali. So let's go ahead and create that real quick. Again, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's open up a terminal. And over here, we're going to just open up a netcat listener. So I've typed in nc for netcat space dash lvnp space the port number that Kali needs to be listening on. Now this is the information that we put inside of the script. The IP address for our Kali and the port number that Kali needs to be listening on. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now Kali is listening. Let's bring back up our web page. And here we see that this is the uploads folder where we saved our script to. So let's just go ahead and double click it. Now if we go back on over to our listener, we see that we have established that reverse shell. And we can confirm this by just typing in some standard Unix commands, such as ls. And these are all the files that are available for www-data. I can also type in ls space dash la. And I'm showing all the permissions that are currently available for www-data. I can also type in who am I. And it comes back and it lets me know that I am www.data. So we can close this out. And now we can go back on over to our web page. And we'll just go ahead and get back to our default web page. And we'll again go into the DVWA application. Here we'll go into the DVWA security. And this time we'll change it to medium. And we'll do a submit. And from here we can attempt to go ahead and see if it will allow us to upload this PHP script. If I hit upload, it tells us that your image was not uploaded. So I can't do it with high security and I can't do it with medium security. But there are, of course, different workarounds, such as renaming the extension to something other than PHP. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about creating a reverse shell using a file upload vulnerability. Got any questions? Got any concerns? Don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.